Well, yep, I also got some cool items here for the Sinclair C5. So, yeah, thanks very much to Steve Gillett and Steve Blake for sending me these over. Um, purchased them literally yesterday, they arrived this morning. So, what we've got here, as you can see, is mirrors. So, this particular one here, particular set, is a, a um, prototype mirror. So, it's a resin prototype mirror. Um, Obviously the colour is grey, as you can see, it's not a match, it's not a match for the Sinclair T5, that's why it's a prototype, but for me this is perfect because I planned to put these on a, a blue Sinclair C5, so the plan was always just to have a set to be painted, so these are perfect. Yeah, and have a look at these, I mean they're so much better than the 3D printed ones we had before, which had loads of lines, just needed loads of finishing, these are absolute top notch. Um, loads and loads of say meat plastic on here as well i love the way that this is recessed which is much stronger than the original how it's designed these brackets look really nice as well it looks like potentially you know stainless steel screws as well but really good i mean look at that that just looks, looks so nice brackets look good and then we also got the other side here let's have a quick look at And I say the guys now say um, you can get these from the Sinclair C5 owners forum. So Steve and Steve now produce these as well with uh, indicators built in, which look absolutely top notch. Plus um, another pair of these, which are basically much more body coloured as well. But yeah, look at those. They're excellent. Excellent. And then here we have a pair of lenses as well, and mirrors. And they've also got the ball socket on the back. So I'm not, I'm not pushing them in yet because I'm gonna add a, I'm gonna add a little bit of um a little bit of grease in there, but um then you can just push those in, and really really good, and that mirror's cut cut beautiful, brackets really nice, and to me those look absolutely perfect, and this looks really strong as well. Oh that's right, and also it's got pin the metal strong metal pins in there as well, so that's some much better than the original plastic one, so those should stay on there nice and solid. So yeah, they look they look excellent. And the next thing we have is these. So these are also um, resin printed um, indicators and they're a copy of course of the original. Just the fact that these are clear versus orange or amber. They've got the Magnolite England part here on them. Um, decent, decent length of wire and the wire feel, feels really good quality as well. Their own design on the back. Um, on the original ones they sort of lifted in they sort of lifted in and then they sort of squeezed in at the bottom that's the kind of how they worked but this and and those those clips are always prone to breaking on originals you know um but these obviously have screw-in ones which look good so open those up like that We've got three millimeter foam here which is nice which is nice thickness a nice design here of in of um of cover of back which is good So yeah, that's very nice, that is. Let's just pull that through there, carefully. Yeah, that's good. So it's nice and tight, stopping the um, ingress of water getting in. And wow, look at that. I mean, that design, ooh, that is nice. Um, and obviously you'll love to unscrew this here. Then you can pull the bulb holder over and then you use a Festoon um, style bulb in the LED or, or normal obviously if you use LED then you need an LED flasher which are the most common ones these days which are generally speaking the two pin 12 volt motorbike ones which you normally use but yeah they, those are good I can't remember what size um, bulb it is but um, obviously I'll, I'll check and add, that in, and add that in the details once I find a pair and order them for myself but yeah I mean they feel really 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 good loving those I'll check this out against the originals in a sec um, there's my other one in there that's cool and say on my blue C5, this is what I wanted. These will look top notch on the blue C5. And front, yep, there's a pair in there. Yep, perfect, pair in there. And yeah, we've got nice, nice little screws in there. And how, yeah, it's actually, you know what, let's, let's have a quick open. Yeah, so that all looks like very, very strong in there. Lots of, lot, again, lots of meat in there, the way it goes in as well. Yeah, if you can see, it looks really good. Um, let's undo that. There we go. Oh, yeah, that, again, that feels rock solid as well. And very nice. LEDs in there as well. And, uh, yeah, the right length. Perfect. Really nice. Really, really nice. That's a look. Epic. So, yeah, the, bit, the bits um, that I... And then there's the other one in there. So, the bits I'll need for these um, to finish off this is, again, I'll, I'll need um, the bulbs for the back. 
I'll need the 12 volt LED flasher. I'll need the rocker switch, which is about three pounds on eBay. Um, I'll provide the link on in the um, of a of a switch, basically. But obviously that that link might not be valid for too long. But I'll put something in there anyway. And also you need the brackets to hold the switch, to hold the rocker switch. So you can get a metal one, a normal Sinclair one, a used part. Or there's many people, um, people actually like, like Graham Garlic actually, who are printing um, the brackets as well. So yeah, really cool. So flip that over here. Pop over here. Oh, actually let me grab the, I need to just grab one of the mirrors. Oh, I'll grab this one here. There we go. Okay. There we go. Very, very nice. Very nice. I mean, that's, that's so good. So good. And like I say, you get a pair of those in, you know, in, in that colour, which are a bolt direct on, job done. But say for me, these are going to go on the blue C5, so they'll be, they'll be excellent. And then we've got, look at these, which are cool. Again, really nice. They've got, they've even got the same sort of, pat, same, uh, pattern here on the edge versus the edge of these ones so yeah really good i say sorry this is a quick review but um i'll put them on the um let's say the sink when i get the other bits and pieces and a quick look at these yeah look at those i mean i mean they are going to look ridiculously good very nice very nice so you've got all the ribbed parts in there as well and it's basically just incredibly, naturally, incredibly similar, which is what, which is basically what, what is what we want. Just with the, um, just with stronger bulb. I mean, much. This is this is a much, much better design of bulb holder than the originals. That is um, a poor design compared to what this is. So yeah, these are these are these look the same, but these are an improvement. So thank you very much. Hopefully, the guys next will start to print these, which I'm sure that's probably on their horizon. You know, because that would be a nice item to have. Yep, and there we go. And say so the blue Sinclair C5 is up here. So there we go. So they're going to go on that. And this has got one of the John Webster kits on the front as well. So um, and I, and um, I believe as well. Say so Steve and Steve are going to be printing some front wheel covers as well to be compatible with the disc brakes. Cool. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I shall um, post this video and hopefully you guys enjoy. Thank you. Cheers. And so if you need these items, get in touch with um, with Steve Gillett and Steve Blake on the Sinclair C5 Owners Forum. And there's, um, there's a few posts on there for those. Cool. Cheers.